Hey, you. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Want to animate a cool wall throw but don't know how? This is exactly my problem. I'll teach you with this wall slam from Mob Psycho. In this fight, Mob throws Kriyama against the wall. Here's what you do. Make a body part lead first. The hips, the head, the feet, you name it. Speed lines are A-OK. -okay. Remember, if the character's moving left, the speed lines go in the opposite direction. It's friction, baby. Flatten the character out. The faster he's flattened out, the stronger the throw is. Here they use two frames as in between before they flatten the character out. Camera shakes are highly encouraged. Now don't forget to destroy the object being smashed against. This gives the throw power. And like my uncle says, where there's damage, there's debris. Make the shit out of those debris. OK, uncle. I'm sorry, I will. I will. After the slam, make the time slow down. Make the debris fall real slow like. Slowing time down like this gives the audience time to react. Since the throw itself is super fast, dust adds impact too. But don't add it all at the same time. This confuses me. Make it come in steps. One, two, three. Here Kuyama's picked up because the internal bleeding is making the blood rush upwards out of his mouth. Then he falls down, letting him rest. But this isn't really necessary, you know? You can just smack him against the wall and drop that bad boy down. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Fly, smack, bada boom, bada bing, and presto, besto. You got yourself a wall throw, Scrooby. I am now enlightened. Great! And you better check out my full analysis on this entire mob vs. Koyama fight. Or my uncle will get you. He's gonna get you. Also, for God's sake, subscribe and ring that bell. Or my uncle will get me. This video was adequate. See you, Scroobies.